to get there, we need some mathematical machinery. The first, uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is the craft inequality. So first off, it's uh, worth thinking about what makes a prefix code a prefix code. We can, um, in particular, we can represent prefix codes on tree graphs. <coughs> so let's see my prefix code from a second ago. A goes to 0, B goes to 1, 0. C goes to 1, 1. So I'm going to represent this on a tree. <coughs> Excuse me. And in this tree, um, edges represent uh, symbols in the, the encoding alphabet. So edges here represent symbols in U. So I can label each edge with the symbol that's used. So this tree will give us every possible uh, binary sequence of length 2. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. What must be true about prefix codes is that since no code word is the prefix of any other code, if I have a code word such as 0, all of the descendants of that code word must be removed. I'm not allowed to follow uh, this tree beyond its beyond that descendant. So it's similarly true of any other prefix code. Basically, what uh, the the leaves will represent uh, uh, the paths to the leaves will represent the code words. And any time I have a complete code word, the, the tree must terminate. Uh, there's no code word that's the descendant of any other code word. <coughs> So we can generalize this uh, tree concept to the case where uh, my set is non-binary. So in other words, um, if instead of binary, my channel alphabet has a uh, cardinality of U letters, <coughs> I can number those 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on up to cardinality of U minus 1. And similarly, these will all have descendants uh, up to, uh, there will be cardinality of u of these, these will have descendants, cardinality of u of those, and so on. Anytime I hit a leaf, anytime I hit a code word, then all of the descendants of that code word are, are removed from the tree. The craft inequality um, is based on these tree constructions and gives us um, uh, gives us a bound on the lengths of the paths of these trees. So the craft inequality states: Let c of x be a prefix code. With lengths L of X. Then the code word lengths must satisfy the sum over all the code words in the, in the uh, all possible, uh, excuse me, all possible source letters, sum over all possible source letters, cardinality of the channel alphabet. L of x is less than or equal to 1. So how does that work? <coughs> There's a converse which says, uh, conversely, any uh, L at 
1, L x 2, and so on, up to L cardinality of the, um, the sample space. In other words, if, if there's some uh, sample space so that, excuse me, x sub cardinality of x, if there's some uh, random variable and you assign a code with these lengths, um, satisfying this inequality can form a prefix code. So in other words, if I give you a prefix code, it must satisfy this. And if I give you lengths satisfying this, you can form a prefix code from those lengths. <coughs> the proof. So we're going to uh, we're going to use this tree construction to represent a uh, to represent the prefix code. So um, form the prefix code on a tree where edges. Prefix property any code word eliminates all of its descendants from the tree. This is what I said a second ago. Let L max be the maximum length in this code. That's the max over all the x of L of x. So if I construct a tree. It's cardinality of u to the power of L max. 